Yeah, and I know the uh, New Zealanders. It's a good shot. Nice piece of timing, and it'll run all the way. And that is his strength because uh, he's got a very good eye. Out. Well, they starved him, and then they laid the trap. And Nathan Astle, he couldn't resist it because he's seen so few deliveries to try and play that shot. And the Fake Abrahams, it's his one day international debut at in the air, just dropping short. Nicky Biet is very, very quick on his feet. It's a very good shot. Just in front of square. John T. Rhodes is the chaser. He'll track it down. There's no doubt about it. Or will he? No, he won't. Goodness me. He's timed it very well. It's gone for four. Short and wide and gone. John T. Rhodes in the spot, right on the target. Stephen Fleming has picked him out and Donald has struck in his first over and how often think the opposition captain. Has he got it through? Yes, he has. That's a good shot. Now, the outfield is quick. Nicky Bier is the man who's uh, got the wheels on. He's not going to catch it, though. And that's a much-needed boundary. Lovely shot. That's found the gap. That's a beauty. Just a little bit of width. And twos. He's in top form. Wide, four. You can't bowl there to Chris Cairns. He's a wonderful striker, and if you were given... Overpitched, and that'll go across the ropes again. <laughs> Doc Keller's dead. Well, he's gone wayward, has Jack Cullis. It's off the pad, but it's four to the total. And that is a cracking shot. That wasn't quite a half volley. And goodness me, hasn't he taken toll this over? Yeah, his shot selection is superb. And that was a glorious shot. And all the way, this outfield at Newlands really has quickened up since last season. It's a lovely shot. It's a great shot. Well in front of square on the leg side. One bounce for Cairns. It's a great shot. It's a wonderful shot. That's absolutely outstanding from Roger Twos. You talked about uncanny shots. And he's hit for six. It's in the air. It's gone high, but I think it's going to be safe. Yes, it is. No one near that one. And ten run. It's gone again. He's hit it beautifully, and he's hit it for six. So, 16 runs off just three balls. This is brilliant stuff from Roger Twos. It's a very good shot. Round two to Lance Klusner, uh, to Roger Twos rather, and it also brings up Twos' 50. It's a glorious stroke through extra cover. You're not going to get that one. That's gone for another four, so the second boundary off the over from Lance Klusner. So good work again from New Zealand, 130 for three. It's a lovely hit. It's a very good hit. Straight again, and it's gone a long, long way back for six. It's gone again. And he's hit it beautifully. Has it gone further? Goodness me, it has. What a wonderful blow again. And so often, how doesn't that happen? Good shot. That's going to be touch and go. It's uh, more the go. Pete Abrahams, beautifully timed shot. Another four. Pulled away. That's found the gap. That's gone high. Fielder under it. No, goodness me. He didn't time that very well. He hit it very, very high up to Jacques Cullis running around from long on. Out straight to the captain. And the crowd are on their feet. Telemarcus has done the job for Pollock. And what a reception he'll get from this wonderful Newlands crowd. Well, a little bit of luck there. Alan Donald didn't enjoy it. Roger Twos will enjoy the end result. Oh, that's a good shot. It's gone very fine of Boucher. And too fine for anyone else to be in the frame. 
Very close. Yes. Too close. It kept a little low. McMillan looking to hit through square leg instead of straight. Length is the key. Helps if you get it straight. And Pollock didn't on that occasion. He's got that through. He's going to be looking for two. And he's going to come back easily and pick up two runs. So there it is. In fact, they're going to go back for the third. And that is a memorable hundred for Roger Twos. What a wonderful knock. A big smile from him. He's enjoyed his cricket here in South Africa and good support from his teammates. And probably the only time that a, an out-and-out -out slog or big hit without uh, taking note of where the fielders are is justified. And that's in the closing overs of a one-day game. Quick single. And a return from Daryl Cullinan. Umpire Rudy Kutzen is going to have a look, or he's asked the man. There it is, the red light. Eventually, well, that took some time. It's well struck, but it's straight to the fielder, and not for the first time today. Sean Pollock has taken the catch. Chris Harris departs. No run again. Could be a run out, should be a run out, is a run out. He's picked that pretty well. They're going to have to come back for two. Gary Kirsten is the fielder, and they're safely home. So that's a good effort from Brock Walker, right at the death. And New Zealand end up with 256 for nine off 50 overs. They were three for 39. And then that magnificent partnership between Twos and Cairns. Twos, the century, is first. Likes batting at Cape Town. Chris Cairns, leg side first up. Cullen's just turned it around the corner for an effortless boundary. So that's a good start. What a lovely delivery. Daryl Cullinan trying to go over mid on. He's off the mark straight away. Nice and positive. Three extra cover. There's a bit of a chase on here. The outfield is fast. McMillan, the chaser, doesn't get there. Got him. He's got another one, Shane O'Connor. This has been absolutely outstanding stuff from the Kiwis. Good shot. That'll be four. Glorious shot. That is superb. And listen to the noise. The crowd love him. They love the shot. Good shot by Gary Kirsten. He's flicked that away off his pads. It's behind square for Mall. Yeah, catch it. Out. Did it carry? Yes, it did. And Kirsten completely deceived. That's what Davidson was talking about. Lovely drive, square drive, might go for four. In fact, it does. That's a very good shot. Very good timing from Rhodes. Two. He's got that away for six. It's a very important blow. Nice, guys. Fifty up for a local hero. Here's that. That's a glorious shot. Well, he's felt the pressure and uh, he's just proved how well he plays under pressure pulled away and it's a super shot yeah! that's out i don't think there's any doubt that that is out umpire ian howell says he wants the third umpire to have a look Absolutely bold absolutely superbly bold it's got roads playing forward it's turned and that, I'm afraid, is out and beautifully bowled by Walker. Superbly bowled. To Boucher. Yeah, it's The first delivery Harris bowls of this over has completely deceived Boucher. He played far too early. Pollock has gone for the big one. He's hit it a long way in the air. Looks like it's going to be out. It is. So, that's a big wicket for the Kiwis. Unorthodox. Might go for four. Important boundary. It's gone. Has he gone over? Yes, he has. Right over the top for six. So this is make or break, I feel, for South Africa. Shafiq goes over the top. And he might have got it. No, he hasn't. Yes, he has. Astor couldn't quite stop it. Long on, I'm sure. He's hit it beautifully. And it's gone for six. That is a terrific blow. 
half volley, gone. Can't bowl there, not to him. Again, half volley. That's a bigger one. That is not good bowling. Uh, in the air, this is uh, a chance. Spearman runs forward, can't get it. It's gone through his legs. It won't get to the rope, or will it? Walker does brilliantly. They'll come back for three. Oh. Follows him. Now, he hasn't hit it over the rope. Spearman goes around again. He'll get two. He keeps the strike. Cole. But Cluj now just chips it over mid-wicket. As, uh, well, a belated applause from the crowd as everyone suddenly realises the great man has got 50. Half volley. Smashes it straight. He gets four. Unbelievable shot. The length was wrong. The bowler in the background knows it. They need three from one. O'Connor. Low full toss. He's done it again. Kuzner has smashed it. And South Africa have pulled off yet another unlikely victory. He is a genuine hero. The Kiwis are absolutely distraught. But off on that balcony, they stand for that man. And they jump for that man. He is an amazing asset.